BlackFacts.com presents Black Facts Educational Series The Red Summer The 1919 Racial Riots Red Summer is the period from late winter through early autumn of 1919 during which white supremacist terrorism and racial riots took place in more than three dozen cities across the United States, as well as in one rural county in Arkansas. The term Red Summer was coined by civil rights activist and author James Weldon Johnson. In most instances, attacks consisted of white-on-black violence. However, numerous African Americans also fought back, notably in the Chicago and Washington, D.C. race riots. This riots resulted in 38 and 15 deaths, respectively, along with even more injuries and extensive property damage in Chicago. Still, the highest number of fatalities occurred in the rural area around Elaine, Arkansas, where an estimated 100 240 black people and five white people were killed, an event now known as the Elaine Massacre. The anti-black riots developed from a variety of post-World War I social tensions, generally related to the demobilization of both black and white members of the U.S. armed forces following the war. An economic slump and the competition in the jobs and housing markets between ethnic European Americans and African Americans helped to increase these tensions. Background with the mobilization of troops for World War I, and with immigration from Europe cut off, the industrial cities of the American Northeast and Midwest experienced severe labor shortages. As a result, northern manufacturers recruited throughout the South, from which an exodus of workers ensued. By 1919, an estimated 500,000 African Americans had emigrated from the southern United States to the industrial cities of the Northeast and Midwest in the first wave of the Great Migration. These immigrants filled new positions in expanding industries, such as the railroads, as well as many existing jobs formerly held by whites. In some cities, the African Americans' workers were hired as strikebreakers, especially during the strikes of 1917. This increased resentment against blacks among many working-class whites, immigrants, and first-generation Americans. In the summer of 1917, violent racial riots against blacks due to labor tensions broke out in East St. Louis, Illinois and Houston, Texas. Following the war, the authorities viewed with alarm African Americans' advocacy of racial equality, labor rights, and the rights of victims of mobs to defend themselves. Early in 1919, Dr. George Edmund Haynes, an educator employed as director of Negro economics for the U.S. Department of Labor, wrote, the return of the Negro soldier to civil life is one of the most delicate and difficult questions confronting the nation, North and South. Events In the autumn of 1919, following the violence-filled summer, Haynes reported on the events as a prelude to an investigation by the U.S. Senate Committee on the Judiciary. He identified 38 separate racial riots against blacks in widely scattered cities, in which whites attacked black people. Unlike earlier racial riots against blacks in U.S. history, the 1919 events were among the first in which black people in number resisted white attacks and fought back. The states were unwilling to prosecute such mob murders. In May, W.E.B. Dubois published his essay, Returning Soldiers, We Return. We return from fighting. We return fighting. Relevant Riots April 13. Georgia, six deaths. May 10, Charleston, three deaths. Early July, Longview, Texas, four deaths. July 3, Bisbee, Arizona. July 14, Garfield Park, Indianapolis, multiple gunfire wounded. July 19 to 23, Washington and Norfolk. When the violence ended, a total of 15 people had died, 10 white people, including two police officers, and five black people. July 27 to August 12, Chicago, 38 deaths, 23 blacks and 15 whites, 527 injured, and 1,000 black families left homeless. It marked the greatest massacre of Red Summer. August 30 to 31, Knoxville, Tennessee, 7 deaths and more than 20 people wounded. September 28 to 29, Omaha, Nebraska, Will Brown was lynched, hanged, and his body burned. Elaine Massacre Although the 1919 racial riots took place in more than three dozen of cities across the U.S., on September 30, a massacre broke out against blacks in Elaine, Phillips County, Arkansas. 
being distinct for having occurred in the rural south rather than a city. The event erupted from the resistance of the white minority against the organization of labor by black sharecroppers. Planters opposed such efforts to organize and thus tried to disrupt their meetings in the local chapter of the Progressive Farmers and Household Union of America. In a confrontation, a white man was fatally shot and another wounded. The planters formed a militia to arrest the African-American farmers, and hundreds of whites came from the region. They acted as a mob, attacking black people over two days at random. During the riot, the mob killed an estimated 100 to 237 black people, while five whites also died in the violence. Responses In September 1919, in response to the Red Summer, the African Blood Brotherhood formed in northern cities to serve as an armed resistance movement. Protests and appeals to the federal government continued for weeks. A letter from the National Equal Rights League, dated November 25, appealed to Wilson's International Advocacy for Human Rights. We appeal to you to have your country undertake for its racial minority at which you forced Poland and Austria to undertake for their racial minorities. Narrated by Timbuktu To learn more about black history visit www.blackfacts.com